it's Liz Yule at Old Staples Crafts. Thank you very much for joining me again today. Today I've got a little 3D project for you. I've suddenly realised I haven't done any 3D projects properly for a while. So I've got a little box. Um, it's got just a belly band of ribbon, so it's tied in a knot rather than a bow. And then when you open it up, there is a tube of hand cream. And I thought hand cream at the moment was a particularly good gift because we're all doing you know, the washing and alcohol gel and what have you. And I don't know about you, but my hands are taking a toll. Um, so my hands are really dry. They're always quite dry because working with cards tends to make your hands a bit dry. Um, but they're even worse than they normally are. So this uses the Flowers for Every Season. Yes, I am right. Flowers for Every Season designer series paper. I think this is going to be one of my favourite six by six paper packs. I wish it was 12 by 12, but you know, can't have it all. A lot of these sheets are very bright. Um, you've seen me work with this before, so you will realise that some of them are really quite bright. And then there are a few more subtle sheets in between. All of the in colours are in here. And then we've got a more solid back. Um, but it's all the in colour, the new in colours plus Poppy Parade, so it really is quite a vibrant um, colour scheme. Magenta Madness and Poppy Parade next to each other are quite eye-opening. Anyway, um, let me show you how I've made it. Actually, before I do, I've used the Celebrate Sunflower stamp set to do this sunflower. I don't yet have the new um, in-colour blends. They should arrive today when you see this. Um, but when I'm filming this, they won't yet be here. So I've used Mango Melody and the Light um, Shaded Spruce. They're, they're not right. Oh, and um, Soft Suede on the inside. They're not the right colours, but they kind of work. But obviously, if I've got the, if I had the right colours, they would be, they would be better. Um, and it's this little sunflower I've used. Um, and I just thought it was really cute. And obviously this set, oh, and yes, it bundles with the sunflower dies. So save 10% by getting both with the bundle number. Um, this obviously is perfect for my team because my team are called the Sparkling Sunflowers. So why wouldn't I want a stamp set, set that says celebrate sunflowers? And it's got perfect things for team members because it's got congratulations on re reaching a whole new level of wonderful. Let's celebrate you. Uh, thanks a bunch is always useful and know that you are loved is always useful. But I say these two in particular are perfect to celebrate my team of um, little demonstra of demonstrators. I should say my little team of demonstrators. Um, I say little. We've got 18, 19 in the team now. So we're, we're not little anymore. I should stop saying that. Anyway, let me show you how the box is made. I'm going to do a slightly more subtle one um, and I've already scored but I'm going to go through the score lines with you so don't worry. So my piece of card is eight and three quarters by seven and one quarter. On the long edge we're scoring at half an inch, one and seven eighths, six and seven eighths and eight and a quarter and then turn it, doesn't matter which way you turn it, um, although I have to say I turned it this way before I get myself confused. Um, score at half an inch, two and a half inches, three and seven eighths, and then five and seven eighths. And the final dimensions are uh, five inches by two by one and three eighths. So five inches by two by one and three eighths. So let me get this all burnished up. So I'm just going to burnish all of the score lines and then I will show you how it's made and talk about this designer series paper that you need to cut. I have to say I was hoping to get my uh, grass mowed this afternoon. Um, it was quite nice this morning, first thing, and um, it's now looking a bit grey. So I may or may not get it done, but it is really quite long at the moment. So I desperately do need to get it done. Right. So this is going to be the front of your box. So it's this piece here that dips in. 
So with your snips, and I like to work from the wrong side, I'm going to cut all the way up, cutting to the inside of the score line. So my score line is here, my little lump. And I'm going to do the same here. You don't want that um, funny rump lumpy edge as part of your lid. You want to get rid of that. So get rid of that. And then while we're here, just cut away that whole corner because we don't need that. And let's do it the same the other side. Now these are going to be your side pieces. So we need to separate these here um, because that's then going to fold into this piece. So again, I'm going to cut the score line into the piece that I'm going to be in effect getting rid of. So this is what's going to be seen. Same again on this side. And then fold that piece in and just cut as straight as you can down there. And again, as straight as you can down there. And then just wedge away just a little bit to make sure we get a nice clean finish when we um, fold everything up. And I'll show you why that works in a moment. So are you enjoying the new catalogue? I love it. I liked it at the point. I'm just going to repeat exactly the same over here. Um, I liked it at the point when I could pre-order. I mean, the pre-order list was lovely. Now I can order anything in the catalogue. It's amazing. Um, so, yes, I've got my product share boxes arriving tomorrow or today when you're seeing this hopefully um, I've had notification from UPS that they're on their way again I'm going to wedge these just a little um, so hopefully I will have my product shares or the first round of them ready to go out later this week and then also tomorrow I've got my order coming um, I place it in two separate lots, so I put the product shares through first and then I placed the order for what I want. Right, so I need to round the corners and I've got the trio punch for that because we've got this corner rounder. So just pop your flap for your lid in first and then you want to do these square edges here. So. And they should fit in quite nicely because this is a big enough piece that it's it's not going to get caught up in the punch. And the same on this side. So yes, very excited. Obviously, I will do what I can to show you what I've got. Um, I've got a Facebook Live on Tuesday, so um, hopefully I'll be playing with some new stuff on that. And I'll hopefully do an unboxing as well. Right, OK, so this is ready for designer series paper. Much easier to stick your paper on when it's flat. Now, with, when I did the first version, I cut my paper slightly smaller than I actually think I need it. It's got quite a large edge around it, so I've changed the dimensions. So I have got one piece that is cut at one and seven eighths by four and seven eighths and that's going to go on my lid now this pattern doesn't really have an up and a down direction because we've got flowers all over the place if it did then obviously you'd need to take that into account then I've got two pieces that are cut at four and seven eighths by one and a quarter and two pieces that are cut at one and seven eighths by one and a quarter so I don't have my new adhesive yet um, it's in it was on back order to begin with so I'm going to be hoping to get that soon um, so I'm just finishing off using snail uh, but the new adhesive is now available so if you tried to get it uh, when the catalogue went live we heard late on the 6th which was Friday I want to say Friday uh, 
no, Saturday, uh, late on the on Saturday, I heard, oh, no, it was early on Saturday, that I heard that the new Seal and Seal Plus is now orderable. Uh, it was just delayed in shipping, so nothing too much to worry about. I'm actually going to stick it on so that I've got to the long edge. So as you can see, this is a much narrower margin. Um, but I just felt that the other one was a little too large. Now this does actually marry up if I get the right piece. There we are, because I cut this that way. Um, so you can, if you want, have your pattern going round, but that does only work if you have a non-directional pattern. So for the sunflowers it wouldn't work because they aren't too bad, but um, there was a definite up and down. So yes, so the adhesive is now available and the refills, uh, both the original re uh, adhesive and the refills are 15 metres long. By the way, um, so lots and lots of adhesive. Uh, Seal is a, we're told, is a stronger version of snail. So it's good for sticking paper to card, um, but not for heavy construction. If you want heavy construction, you want Seal Plus. Now this, I want to stick that way. So. And the, if you only wanted one of the cases, the cases are interchangeable. Um, I think it would be a bit odd to have one case and two refills going at the same time, but it is possible. So let me just check that I've got this right. Yes, I have. So this is going to go on here. And also do remember that for the whole of June, um, if you place a large order, so £200 plus, you will get extra hostess rewards. If you are not going to be able to place an order of that large on your own, there are two options. Um, well, sort of three, actually. These I've just cut um, so they don't actually match any of the or line up with any of the papers. Um, so the first thing you can do is obviously get together with some chums and see if you can get a £200 order between you and then just share the extra rewards out. Um, and if you get all of that going to the same address, obviously you save on postage because you'll only spend the one postage. Um, the other option is that you contact me and we do a virtual party, um, which is really great fun. Uh, you just invite, it has to be done on Facebook. Well, it doesn't have to be done on Facebook. It could be done on Zoom. It gets a little more challenging on Zoom, um, but it can be done. So you just let me know who you want invited and we arrange a date and we run it on Facebook. So it's like an ordinary uh, party and I'll send out make and takes and we'll have some party games and things. Now you can use liquid adhesive for sticking this together. For speed, that would be my preference, um, but for speed, and as there isn't that much gluing to be done, I'm going to use um, tear and tape. So yes, if you'd like to have a party for you and your friends, just drop me an email and um, we can look at dates. So um, that would be, I would love to run a party for you. And then we just put all of those orders together. And again, uh, as the hostess, you could get um, extra rewards um, and you can either share them amongst your friends or just have them all for yourself. Um, so that's that. And then of course, if you don't have either of those two options available to you, if you use my host code, then I split the host rewards between everybody who uses it in a month. So that is another option. And the more people who use it, the more rewards we get because the percentage goes up um, as we have more in the pot. So let me grab my other take your pick. Yes, I do have two. Um, so that's absolutely an option and also if you've got a large order frankly what I would suggest you do um, is become a discount shopper and get the starter kit because you get for £99 and there's no postage charged you get £135 
Um, so it's 129 euros and 175 euros if you're in mainland Europe. Um, so for £99 you get to choose up to £130 of products or €129 up to €175 of product, plus for the remainder of June you get to choose any stamp and die or stamp and punch bundle, and that's added free. Um, as I say, you get free postage. Let me just line these up. You get free postage. Um, you get some business supplies in case you wanted to run this as a business. You don't have to. You can just be a a happy discount shopper. Um, there is no requirement to run classes and sell. Um, but if you join in June, you will get to order from the, dare I say, autumn, winter slash Christmas catalogue in July. So a month early and you'll get a discount of at least 20 percent off your purchases, which is good. So that is our little box all nice and neatly put together uh, and let me grab my misty moonlight design uh, in colour ribbon and just again I'm just going to wrap a smallish piece round there I don't sometimes you, a, a box doesn't need a huge amount of ribbon sometimes just one wrap is all it needs um, so yes all the information about both the stamping rewards and joining my team are over on my website um, and there's a link to that in the description bar below this video. Uh, if you're in the UK of course you can shop with me if you would like to and um, if you don't already have a catalogue and you shop with me I will send you one free. Um, if you don't have a catalogue and would like one just fill in the request form and um, what I'm asking is that you pay £5 towards the catalogue and the postage and then when you place your first order I will reimburse you that £5. Um, it just means that it saves me sending out catalogues to people who don't really want to shop with me but they're just using my free catalogue, um, which I have to say I've had rather a lot of over the last couple of years. Uh, right, OK, so... Let me grab a piece of scrap paper because I'm going to stamp off. We do not have, I do not yet have, Misty Moonlight. So I'm going to do Knight of Navy stamped off. And this is using the Positive Thoughts stamp set and the matching dies that were part of the coordination release during celebration but are now available in the catalogue. I don't think they're a bundle. I will check in a minute. So I'm hoping that by inking this up, preferably the whole stamp would be good, that's better, and then stamping off once and stamping again, it's not perfect, but it's not bad, it will do. So ink up fully, stamp off once, shouldn't have done it on a crease, don't do it on a crease, learn from my mistake, stamp off once, and probably don't have a white jumper on. Um, not the best idea I've ever had to use dark ink and a, wear a white jumper. But there we go. So yes, it's not ideal as a colour. Um, ooh, I've just had a thought, actually. I've just had a thought. I'm wondering if Seaside Spray might be a better match because it won't but it might be a better tone so let's have a look just clean off my stamp with my chamois and see if seaside spray would be better I think it would Full strength seaside spray. Let's have a look. Ooh, it's difficult, isn't it? I think I'm going to go seaside spray. Oops, I think I'm going to juggle my ink pad as well. So I'm just going to cut that out with the matching die, and then we will be basically finished. I like to look for these two long 
petals because that makes it easier to line up. So that is the line up for it. So run that through my die cutter. And that's all right. It's not perfect colour wise, but it's not bad. And then I've got the edge pieces of my dimensionals, which I can use to go on the back. And then we're pretty much done, which is not bad. 20 minutes, it's not perfect, but it's not bad. So I'm hoping you've enjoyed that. A bit more 3D. I must remember to do more 3D. Um, tomorrow, as I say, over on my business Facebook page, I've got my um, coffee and craft, coffee and card session. I bring the craft, you bring your favourite drink, depending on where you are in the world. Um, and I will also either, I'll probably have an unboxing, assuming everything's gone according to plan. Um, I will do an unboxing tomorrow instead of tip top tuesday and then we'll be back onto our normal sort of routine um, as the week goes on but i hope you enjoyed that i think they're really cute little boxes it's not stuck down properly but i will sort that out with the glue, uh, glue dot um, i'll have some photographs and the measurements over on my website and as i say that is linked below just click the link that it says associated blog post and i'll list everything that i've used both below and over on my website so thank you very much indeed for joining me today. If you've got any questions or comments, please leave those below or over on my website. If you would like to book a virtual party, please drop me an e email. The links to that are on my website as well. Um, if you've got anything else that I can help you with, please just drop me a line and I will do everything I can to assist. Thank you very much indeed. Have a fantastic week and I look forward to seeing you again soon.